Hi, I'm Ram. Welcome back to my playthrough of Outer Wilds. Last time we were checking around the Nomai civilizations on Brittle Hollow. And I think... Yeah, they were... One of the things they were doing is they were looking for a warp core, which is on Dark Bramble. So I'm thinking potentially we check something else out there. The only other thing we know about Dark Bramble is... That sort of weird seed that was a lot bigger than it was on the inside than it was on the outside. That's apparently from Dark Bramble. So yeah, it's one of the it's one of the outer rings. So we'll we'll see see what's over here. We have also heard of potentially an anglerfish that might get aggressive. So. That's not a good idea. And just looking in there as well. Is that... Are those part of the Ember Twins? Can't quite tell. Lovely. Pretty much almost here. There's there's not really anything... On sort of the, the surface. But yeah, I'm guessing we're going to have to fly into... Into there makes me pretty... hold on, hold on, hold on. Get our scout launcher out. Okay, stop. Right, let's see what our other side... Okay, stop trying to go in there. He's still going in there. Okay, it's it's ginormous in there. That's there we are. Bingo. That's that's the angler fish. Can I have a look at your ugly mug? Great. That doesn't bode well. And is there, is there anything else actually in here? So the Nomo said their ship crashed on Dark Bramble? In Dark Bramble? It's oh, is that a is that an anglerfish over there? Is that what you are, or is that just the the white hole? Right, that might be might be the white hole. I think we have to stop being a coward and actually get in here. Right, gently does it. Red light down there, right. The the white lights are all anglers, so going towards them isn't positive. I get my scout out again. Actually no, that's a bad idea. I should send you towards here. That doesn't help, we're just gonna have to Gonna have to move forward. Oh, uh, this area is really creepy and gross. There we are, slightly closer to to whatever this red light is. Right, from the the photo scouts taking, it looks like there might be another. I'm being pulled backwards somehow, am I? Don't know. The problem is I don't know how I got in here, so I kind of think we're trapped. Oh god, that sounded like a yeah, that sounded like someone maybe attacking me. I might have to actually just stop being a coward and actually move forward. Oh god, that doesn't. Yep. Yeah, okay. I've been consumed. Great. We're, we're taking a new tack. As... Okay, don't run into that volcanic moon. As... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the anglers were kind of hard to avoid. I wasn't sure... You know, how many of them there'd be. Have I seen... Don't recall seeing you before. This is the, uh... The gravit... Oh, God. This should be the gravity cannon, I think. But yeah, there was there was something about somebody was trying to 
trying to find a way to get rid of the anglerfish, or at least cause them to be non-hostile, so... I think that information... oh god. Every single time with that thing. I think that information was in the... in the black hole forge. But we'll check out this area while we're... while we're here. Oxygen, brittle hollow projection stone. Right. Oh god, should be in the water. This is... Lovely, this is, this is inside the... Inside the thing that tells me how to get inside the quantum moon. Alright, put you back there, see if we can actually... Can we actually gain anything, anything from this? No, because there is a scroll we need to use, but it's it's down there, so we can't get to it. Crossroads, I think that's where we were at before. I think Ryback's sort of over there. But I do want to check out this thing. Certainly a big impressive structure. It's a miniature cave, Southern Observatory. Ah, that was, that was also somewhere we couldn't get to, so uh, do that in a sec as well. Are these gigantic gravity stones? Right, it looks like maybe something more information over here. Here we are. Activate gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Alright. That is... That's a shuttle, alright. Up to the loading bay of the shuttle, looks like they had... They had their own spaceships. Yeah, it was sideways... Sideways walls, so... Oh god, I forgot that was... Forgot that was sideways. Am I gonna need to activate it again because I fell out? I think I am. Oh no, we're back in. Here we are, so kind of, what kind of tech were they working for? This just forward? Alright, looks like this would have been a steering wheel if we could get it to work. There's, oh no. I am here after watching it wander the skies for so long, I am about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole, I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors to the south pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such an unknown sinister. Now though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Lovely, so... Quantum Moon would be... Can I have a, a check at our map? Actually, I, I don't know why that would help, because the planets move anyway, so that doesn't help us. Right, I saw a little notice to activate the... the cannon down here. So, I shall do so. Come on, you finicky little thing. There we go, and that shoots upwards. Is it, is it finding anything? Presumably... Presumably not. Oh, oh god, okay. Should have been paying attention to where I was going, and I do not have enough jetpack power to get out of this. Or do I? I actually seem to be... Maybe beating the black hole? Ooh. Or am I just in its orbit? I think I might just be in its orbit. Yeah, yeah, I can't beat this one, unfortunately. Conveniently back into the stupid white hole over here. Is there... is the ship that teleports us? Around here? Ah, it's you. I think it's this one. There we go. We can make our way back, but this is... It's taken up a lot of time. I'm back here trying to warp, and unfortunately this thing doesn't seem to be rotating. 
Which I swear I did automatically last time. Do I need to like... Ah, here we are. This will turn it on. So we want to go... Uh, head left. And that should, that should get us... Okay, wrong way, but principle still works. I can wait. Here we are. Excellent. Now, am I... Yeah, you did that last time. Charged warp receiver. Right. Conveniently jetpack fuel, and I'm going to see if I can... If I can get back down into the hanging city. Maybe going back for the gravity can is probably not feasible. I reckon the, the world's going to explode pretty soon, but maybe we'll be able to check out the, the forge. Where well, I remember there being an entrance to the Hanging City just on this pool of water, but I can't for the life of me seem to find it. Right, here we are, kind of at the top. Oh, oh god. Okay, stuff near us is falling down. Are we going to be able to get to the Hanging City without plummeting to our death? I wonder. Where is it exactly? It's... yeah, it's, it's more this direction. I'm, I'm just going to have to give it a shot, I think. Right, don't crash into anything. Right, land on... no. Not there, not there. All right, this is this is it for us. I think I think I'm dead. I'm not getting back there in time. I'm just going to reset the loop. Right, we're back on our way to the Brittle Hollow. Uh, I've done some slight messing around with my setup, so hopefully the audio will be a bit better now. Though I had to turn the graphics down, so. Hopefully, hopefully it's a it's a fair trade off. The this this game uses a lot of a lot of memory on my computer, so hopefully things will things will sound a little bit nicer. And the game still looks pretty pretty nice. I can't really tell any graphical differences at the moment, so hopefully it won't be too big of a change. Right, hold on, hold on. Match the velocity. I'm so glad that's a thing in this game. We checked out you. What we need to do is actually don't fall into the black hole. We need to find the... No, 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 please don't. Not in the black hole, thank you. Yeah, we need to find the... Hanging City. Which I believe is no no it's there it i'm so close to being sucked into a black hole and i'm not enjoying it at all yeah it's it's here and it's it's got its own teleportation pod as well which is nice right this isn't this isn't the most the most graceful landing but you know what? It's it it's good enough, kind of. There we are. Don't suspect we'll be getting back in our ship. So, this thing, which I'm pretty sure that might be time based, that's going to transport us to somewhere. Don't think I've actually seen this part of the city before. So that'll be nice. Is this the? Is there a garden area I'm supposed to be looking at? Ah, can't quite remember. Looks like a little wall over there we could maybe get some info from. Be cautious near the boarding area while the Black Hole Forge is in operation. Right, so... Yeah, this is just like a little shuttle point. Missing one there, and more like little... Little teleportation devices. Oh, Christ. Okay, the... The gravity in this place is a little questionable. Also, I'm not wearing my spacesuit. That that would be the issue. Here we are, after about 20 minutes of very bad flying and falling into the black hole a lot. 
we are actually back here. So we're looking for the forge, I believe, top one. Yeah, Black Hole Forge District. I think last time we went this way and we took a left. So I think this, this door here might be what we're looking for. Black Forge Controls. Yeah, and I also remember there was, there was something about... Something about how to stop those angler fish from eating us. Like forge controls. Alright, so what's what what bit is the forge right now? Presumably that thing. We're just gonna dunk it in the forge. Ah, and that's the that's the bit I, I fell off last time. So, how do I get up there? Right, probably... Probably via that thing. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna circle back round. Right, there's weird gravity stuff in, in... Oh god, in this way. We're currently sideways, so... Gonna have to step off here, I think. Right, I think this is... This is somewhere... Yeah, we need to be up there. How do we... Maybe the other one will... Get us up there? So it's very confusing figuring out which way up I'm supposed to be. With all these... With all these magnetic floors. Was this the one I was literally in 10 seconds ago? It might... Yeah, there's no way up there. It might be. I might be very confused. There's this... No, no, I think, I think this one might be my only shot. If I can... Ah, yeah, none of these, none of these are, are glowing. I don't want to mess with the gravity too much. Right, there's got to be a way back up there. My, I feel like my ship is, like, destroyed at this point. Because I crashed it too many times trying to get down here. But there's got to be, got to be a way up around here. This is... Oh, what district is this? Ooh, this is... This must be finding the eye locator. So... Just jetpack up to here. Maybe try and explore this. I think this is the reason we're in Butto Bitter Hollow anyway. So, holes down there. Little tabla is there. Anything else? Right, lift there if we need that. Just checking around thoroughly. I don't want to miss any scrolls. This this looks like good stuff, though. What is the eye of the universe? The eye is older than this universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. Right. Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. Right, so you guys don't really know either. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. Very possible. What's the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't yet know. Maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Signal is a call, we the intended audience. From the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age, or perhaps its lack of age. Right, so is this like... Actual... Tangible signals? Yeah, we've got several frequencies, and I doubt any of them would be the frequencies the eye is on. Be welcomed in this place, this shrine is a space to reflect on what has brought us to this star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Ship log updated, thank you. Enter, enter what? Enter the eye? You're, you're still trying to, to locate it. 
They said they they said they were gonna make like a, a large eye locator. Christ, where was that? This this definitely isn't it. This is just where you learn about the eye. So uh, I want to say it was on one of the poles. So presumably not the not the northern pole because we this is where the northern pole is. That that must be what's inside the southern observatory. And we do actually remember to know where to get that. I no longer believe, as I did as a child on the Ember Twin, that the Eye of the Universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us. But it may not wish to be found either. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly that circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the Eye in some way is wishful thinking. The Eye might have called out to any sentient species. Or it might not have been calling out at all. And that my ancestors heard the eye's signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. I don't I don't think we've heard the eye's signal at all, or at least not what they're referencing. In fact, the eye may not have witches at all, we have no evidence supporting this. Right, useful stuff. I'm pretty sure our next destination should be the quantum The uh the observ that's a little tape down there. I totally haven't seen what's in that yet. Yeah, that was down the stairs here. We're not going to have time to do that and the black hole forge before the universe ends, so we'll just stick to the forge this time. There we are. Ah, Kasava again. I imagine I've been hard on Pokey again. This in turn makes means things I've made difficult for her sister. If Pokey and I are oil and water, Clary is our emulsifier. She certainly makes us a better team than would mixing through shaking. Although sometimes I would like to shake Poke. Jokes aside, suppose my own fear of never finding the eye prompted my argument with Poke. That would be immature of me. I should apologise, at least to Clary, who could then tell Poke. Alright, so more of your inner workings. I think Poke was the was the apprentice that was working on making the uh, warp core from the vessel. I think that was you. I'll have to. I'll have to remember to check my ship's log once I'm back there. Is there anything higher up here? Not hugely. The other question is, how do we? Do I? Do I just go for that with my fuel and hope gravity? The gravity up there kicks in. I might go for it. Come on, come on, kick in gravity, please. Yeah, no, that's not working. Right, at least get a safe landing so we can try again. Wasn't the nicest. Is there any other... That. I I feel like that was really close, but that was, that was the highest point. So if that point can't register us, then no point's going to be able to. I worry if I just, if I just missed something... Something up here. These two definitely aren't magnetic, so I can't do that. And the ones over here weren't magnetic either. Sort of through my. It's a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. Yeah, I thought I saw a hole I could potentially get to. That me dead? Yeah, that's me dead. At least I know mostly what I'm doing. Might as well check through my my ship shuttle. Solomon shuttle. No, my name Solomon landed a shuttle at the quantum moon south pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. And if we want to get to the moon, we have to go in the the south pole. All right, no help on that. And apparently, I didn't do enough looking around the gravity cannon. Fine. It's good that it tells me that. It's just quantum stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wait. What's that? I think I just saw the quantum moon for a second. I was... Yeah, I thought that might have been the, the Atoll Rock, but... Pretty sure I, I can't see it now. 
That's, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. We've, oh, I wish I was paying attention to it. I expected it to be like, oh, Christ. No, no, thank you. Don't want to be here. Although maybe I do want to be here. Do you have, maybe, maybe I want to get in the moon. All right, not actually in the, in the, in the middle of the moon. Maybe I want to just hang out about in here. Why not, you know? Hope I don't get burned alive by being out here. Alright, so you have your little... So what's the symbol for this? Right, that's the symbol for... Can't remember exactly what this thing's called. Ah, Timber Hearth Protection Stone. Haven't seen one of you before. This is probably taking you to the mine? At least I assume it would. Timber hearth, yeah, this is, this is, this is the mine, we've, we've been here. Not in this playthrough, but we have been here. I wonder if, I wonder if you need these to, like, align the, the warp transporters. Right, throw that down. This, uh, this moon doesn't seem to really have enough gravity for us to stand normal. Warning, increased solar activity detected. Yeah, I'll say so. Increased volcanic detectivity. Location is now inhospitable. Evacuation... Recommended. Okay, so this was originally a fine moon. Which means there might be ruins in here if they did used to live here. And it, it can't have it can't have been inhospitable for that long if they were already doing the mining on oh god. If they were already doing the mining on Timber Hearth. So this must be a fairly recent thing. Got my eyes on you, ship. I wanna I wanna see. Right, so that's that's one volcano. I'm I'm trying to match velocity to this thing, but I think it might be too small for that. And I've exploded. All right. This is this is the exact same route we took last time. So yeah, you would have thought that we would have seen the quantum moon. Again, considering... No, not that. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Should have checked whether we were closer. Have a, have a, have a brief landing to fix whatever I just ruined on my ship. Ah, uh, there we are. Wow, that's really wrecked. There we are. Good as new. Looks a little scratched up, but that's fine. And yeah, back to our back to our little trip to Hollow. Good old Hollow's Lantern. All right, come on. I feel like trying to walk into a volcano really isn't like beneficial. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and stay kind of on the outskirts. What this? You have it has maybe four volcanoes. So we've been in one of them. Just have a quick look. I think that's the one we've we've been in. So uh, How about this sort of looks like the the biggest one on this side. Come on, let me see what's in there. Right, that's that's where the spitting fireballs is, so Hello there. Quantum moon. Nope, that was just... You just looked a bit weird there for a second. I guess it's night time, that's why. Those two are what's spitting, so... The other... other one? Right, that looks like either nothing or... Oh, God. I don't want to get blown up regardless, so... Starboard hull damaged. Right, that's not great. Okay, my... That's just timber half. My my plan is switch the gravity forge, switch the the forge on, and then immediately go back to my ship and fly to it because we know that we we know that we oh god, we know that we can land on it. So take some take some very precision flying, which isn't what I'm good at, especially when there's a, a black hole. But we'll. Have I have I seen this little weird bit before? 
Yes, yes I have. It just... I just couldn't remember it for some reason. More importantly, where's one of these holes into the planet? I need to get down there. Oh god. Here we are, excellent. So... No, don't put me in the black hole. Hanging city... Up here, but we need to... We need to actually... Oh god. Yes, this is this is the move, kind of. We need to land sort of higher up so we can activate the forge. So, oh god. Well, we are on the forge, which is, is something. But no, we don't need you yet. We need to figure out what they were doing with the, the forge. Probably... I don't know. Probably that's what they were using to try and make the warp core. That would have been all their activities. I think I can land on top of... Uh, on top of this. This is kind of roughly where I landed last time. Right, come on. There... Oh, God. There we are. There we are. Right, gentle landing. Gentle landing. Lovely. Good stuff, and I'll patch up this while I'm out here. Great, remember this is... Oh, God. Every single time. I hate that so much. Remember this is here. Quickly turn the black hole forge off, and then we can see what it's doing. Here we are. Back into our ship, so... we got to land up there. And the thing I've got to remember is I've got to, like, do a... God... Yeah, do a roll, because the gravity switches up there. So... Am I stuck on something? I might be stuck on something. Here we are. Come on, make a, make a good landing. Oh no. Oh, I think this is about the bit where gravity gets a little... a little bit weird. There we are. Come on, start to... Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was hoping for. A little bit. Can we have a, a slightly a slightly nicer place to park. There we are. Lovely. Now let's see what we can actually do with this forge. You had the had the little bunker thing. Where are you? There we are. No, no, no! This happened last time. Oh, that's incredibly frustrating. But look, the way this is, the way this is, like, configured, I should be able to get back up there. Am I just, like, not getting the platforming? Up here. Oh, God. Up here, maybe? Not up there. Am I just getting the platforming wrong? Absolutely a nightmare. There's gotta be there's gotta be an easier way of getting up there. Like there's there's gotta be some like back route up. Cause this looks like the only Ah, the only way up. This is very frustrating. Oh god, that's also frustrating when I forget how that works. I suppose another way of doing it is be figuring out what that warp point at the bottom links to. Because that would work, but unfortunately I, I don't know if there's any way of actually finding that out. Hmm. Almost out of fuel as well. Yeah, the... Oh, God. The... Oh, God. I'm falling into the black hole again. Every time. This is a, a proper nightmare. I might... I'm, I'm dying. I might actually... Uh, Next time I might try and figure out how to go to the observatory, because that black hole forge is going to be a lot easier once we actually find what it links to. You always, you always link to the same thing, don't you? You actually look like you're, you're part of a, of, of a planet, kind of. Kind of give me dark hollow vibes. Is this the... Is this the ship I always go into teleport? I think so. Yeah, there's a door down there, but you also have a door underneath. Yeah, I'm I'm resetting, and then we'll check out the southern place. I'll be honest, I can't 
fully remember how you get to the gravity thing. I'm pretty sure it was on the equator, but other than that, no idea. So I guess we're just taking the long route. And, ah, there it is, so... Or... I think that's not it. I think that might be the thing that tells us about the moon. Yeah, apparently there's, there's something else we didn't figure out there, so... I, I have no idea where I am. It'll, it'll be signposted, so I'll find that. Gravity Cannon East. Ah, that thing I remember. Can we can we get to you from the surface? I'm I'm not seeing a lot of a lot of transport links. All right, that's not helpful. Do I have to get to the gravity thing via the surface? I I really hope not. Sounds like nice up here. Have I ever? I don't think I've ever been to this area before, so. Be a nice little, a nice little jaunt, kind of a sidewalk. So I wonder if this is like the actual ruins, or if the Nomai's all just also had jetpacks, and they they actually walks. Because I know it's like chunks of chunks of rock, but there are torches here, so kind of implies they were they were using it. So there's apparently like a a journal page we missed here or something. Something, something we don't know the full details of. And also, how do I get down there safely without... There we are. Safely without harming myself. There's this somewhere down here. And that's just taking us back to the crossroads. Alright, there's... I swear we, we already went down there. Maybe it's something... Something I have to do with the ship that you launch? You know, I'll head back later. I, I want to go to the Southern Observatory. I feel like I've been trying to find this place for like maybe like four hours now. This is this is the the mythical eye finder. There we go. Lovely. So a very nice trail that kind of just cuts off. And then dunks you into a uh, into the black hole. That's very nice of it. Throw you up the other side. Ooh, can we get to? I don't think I know what that is. All right, I guess I guess we won't find out either. We're kind of approximately back where we were before, as you can tell from my little world map. It's it's been quite the trick. Uh, so this, yeah, this thing just sort of cut off in the midair, and then I fell into a black hole, so still don't really need to know where to go, at least if I can try and remember where. The South Pole is literally straight, is the issue, so which one of these looks like it would be more, I mean, either, really, I just gotta make sure I land in one of them, so... There we are. Alright, so this is the left one. We'll see where... See where this takes us? This looks like this still might be the right... Yeah, we are headed to South Pole, I think. So, it's all beneficial. Even though it might be a bit of a weird journey to get down here. Uh, I'm mostly worried about the universe exploding. I feel like we're... We're, we're, pretty, we're pretty far into the life cycle of this one. Ah, you're going to make me jump again, aren't you? How incredibly cruel. Okay, thought I wasn't going to make that. We're good. We're here. Hello. Southern Pole, pretty much. There. Do you want me to drop into, into that? Or... Or did I go the wrong way and I was supposed to go over there? Right, this isn't this isn't helpful. The South Pole exactly should be. Yeah, we need to. We we're gonna want to start going upwards. Doesn't. Oh, I don't know how to progress from here. One wrong move, and I'm I'm getting back into the into the warped hole. 
Yeah, there's a ton of a ton of stuff over there, but how do we actually how do we actually access it? Is it because I'm here too late? Is has the has the planet caused to? Oh no, no, no. There's the there's the gravity thing. I was dressing it. They're like the same color as the ice, so I totally didn't see them. Right. We. Oh God, Christ. There's one here. Gotta gotta follow the crystals. Make sure I don't fall off. Yeah, we gotta find out what's going on here and quickly. Ah, there's one on the. Ow, bit sore, but that's fine. Three minutes oxygen remaining. Yeah, I was gonna say, do these not count as as trees? Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, here, and we need to probably get sucked into that thing. I had to guess. So, yeah, the oxygen's down up there, so in which case, can I make that jump? I don't know if I can make that jump. Is there... Yeah, well, I need to... I need to sort of get... There is kind of stuff over here, but I need to... Yeah, I need to be up there. Can I even... That was a test run to see if I could do it. Uh, maybe. Oh, I was kind of at the wrong angle. Don't die. Don't die. There we are. Thank God. That over there also looks nice and important. But we can fly up. Come on. There we are. This the, this the observatory. Lovely. We're getting the, the nice little action music. You. This is the front door. Don't harass the front door. Or maybe harass the front door. Lovely. The problem is this isn't going to stay open, is it? Obviously not. So we need to we need to figure out what information this place has and quickly before the whole planet ruins. Giant steep. Is this the the sort of laboratory we saw before? Conroy, Daz, and I were lifting the orbital prone cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Conroy, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Cassava convinced me to try to not recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened, how could something pass through the current. Gratitude for your interest in question, this is exciting. Spire constructed a hollow of a model of the giant steep here at Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Unable to grasp the answer by us looking through the projection pool. If I aren't, if I visit the observation, will you kindly explain? We don't follow this. There are two trailheads, one at Hollow. Right, sorry, I'm skim reading this. I'm just trying to. I'm really worried that the universe is going to explore and it's going to take me so long to get back here. This, where are we? Are we inside the current? This is. I have no idea where this is. Alright, keep that in mind. Maybe there's an island we missed. Alright, toss this. That's... something. Is that the projection of the... the current we were speaking about? This? Lovely. What info do you have for me? Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant Steep to lift the orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. Okay, that gets into the current, crafting a model. Two different types of cyclones. Most cyclones rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send objects into orbit. Rarer type of cyclone spins the opposite direction, pushes things below the current. Okay, so next time we're on Giant's Deep, gotta find a backwards version of one of these currents. So, this is the clockwise one that brings us up. And the counterclockwise should push us below the surface and let us see those jellyfish. Alright, still gotta hurry. How's the how's the sky looking? Is the sun looking fine or is it gonna start beating me up at any second? Oh that sun looks that sun looks very angry. This is this is not time. That's that's the What is that doing? Ah you're showing us where everything is. Lovely. Like a, a little construction, cyclone. That's the white hole. Eye of the universe, that's the important one. We need we need that to be up. 
Ah, that's that's rotating. Unable to determine orbit, no signal detected matching any known criteria for the end of the universe. Really self-conscious. Is that the is that the quantum moon? It might be. But if we look at our if we look at our own map, is that the Yeah, is that the is that the red thing that's going absolutely mental? Because it looks like it is. Right, please be able to read a scroll before the universe kills me all. That's interesting. We actually know where that is, kind of. How should our methods change when we continue to search for our eye of the universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover these long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to... ...and grab this ball. Furthest from the sun, and it's moonless except when the quantum moon is visiting. Right, so quantum moon changes its planet, and there is something rotating around... Giant's Hill, actually, when we when we restart the game, the the sun is mid exploding. That worries me. Yeah, when we start the game, there's there's sort of like an explosion that happens in front of Giant's Deep, so that must be what that is. I feel like that might be what's causing the end of the universe because that's you shooting off a probe. So wherever that probe is going, it takes twenty two minutes to get there and do whatever it does. Probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I have a solution. And, okay, so maybe that's why they're resetting. Maybe in order to speed up the... No. Maybe in order to, to speed up the likelihood of the probe finding someone. They, they implemented the resetting feature. Which would make a lot of sense, because they need to find it quickly. And yeah, the it must be it must be one of the nomis who remembers, because as we learned earlier, there's three people who have memories of the, of the whole universe exploding thing. So they must have said. To the, this is it's hard to explain, but you know what I mean. They should have said to one of the nomis. Okay. Hold on. That makes. Yeah, yeah, it does make sense. Basically, every... They're splitting this probe off in a different direction every time. And the reason they have the Nomai is because they have to have one person who remembers which direction it was last time and whether it was successful or not. The only question with that is, are they... Are they purposefully exploding the universe when they don't find what they're looking for? And, or is this, is this the loop where they did actually, they did actually find the eye of the universe and the eye is self-destructing? So they're like trapped in a, in a loop. Oh, I don't think I'm explaining that very well, but it, it makes sense. It makes, it makes a lot of sense to me. Is that something I haven't read? Okay, maybe that's something I sh haven't read. Just stop thinking about my fan theories and actually do something. Yeah, that makes sense. The The probe is to find the eye, and they only need one person to remember where the probe goes. Well, as we learned thus far in our search for the universe, those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, and we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Atle Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped detecting its signal. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit about this star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. I suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. How can you suggest that? Signal called out to summon us. No closer to finding it. So it's a good observation. Puts puts a lot of stuff into into making a lot more sense. So yeah. That's the... that's just the symbol of the eye. We definitely know where that'll be. But the problem... the problem with this thing is... If they were unable to find it, how do we know? Because we've been able to see from the... from the start that something... has been... has been circulating. Like, this is... we saw this on, like, the very first map. So, how was it that we are able to locate it so easily, but they couldn't? That's that's the kind of thing that only 
yeah, that's that's what sort of puts a puts a hole in my theory. I don't know why that would make sense. I need to I need to get back to my ship. I'm gonna please shoot me. I'm getting back to the main menu so I can get back to my ship. I wish there was an easier way to reset your loot, but there isn't. I need to I need to look over stuff. There we are. That's the that's the thing I was talking about. That's the that exploding the probe. That makes sense why they can only shoot it in one direction. Because the po the probe not the probe, the cannon self destructs after after every after every like probe it shoots. And that's and that's why they uh they had to get the Nomai to to register it. So that they could do it an infinite amount of times. It's it's gotta be the Nomai that are resetting the universe then. That are like yeah, it it it's got to be those. They must have they must have resorted to doing that because they knew that they would need an infinite amount of tries to get it right. So, and there'll be no point of doing that unless they knew that they had to reset the universe. So they must have figured out some way to reset the universe. Does that <sighs> But then but then what's the what's the supernova world exploding part to do? Is is that their way of resetting the universe and I mean, if it is, how how would they know that it would it would work and it wouldn't just wipe out the whole world completely? So I'm not I'm not sure if the the world resetting and the supernova are like the same thing. Are you the quantum moon or is that just the atoll rock? I I think that's the atoll rock. It seems too close. Although they did say the quantum moon changes which planet it orbits, but presumably because this is a loop, it's got to be orbiting the same planet. Or at least switching at a semi-consistent time. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, everything everything happens the exact same. Apart from us three people. So it's got to be... Yeah, they, they have to have found some way to reset. And I'm, I'm trying to think about it... I'm trying to think about it logically because... And then I need to I need to read over my notes. Was there was there anything in the? Yep, yeah, not this. Anything about what we found in Giant Steep, where they were actually explaining the memory thing? Did they explain why they wanted to create the memory thing? Because like having having a device that stores your memories, like I mean, it's good for historical purposes, I suppose. But no, no. In Giant Steep, they specifically had the. It sends you your memories, but it also sends you your memories back. So they must have been planning that there was, there was a way to reset. They must have, they must have known there was going to be, a way that time would reset and that they'd have to regain their memories. Because otherwise, why would you, why would you program the thing to send you your own memories back? Because if you've got your memories, that doesn't make any sense. So that that must have been part of that. If I could. Right, statues island statue workshop not there view entry now my statue yeah designed to pair send those memories to a storage yank within the ash twin project right so some of the things was equipped with a mask and then send those stored memories back the statues were only designed to activate once the ash project succeeded or in the event that it failed Okay. So, uh, what do we know about the Ash? The Ash Twin Project is the Ash Twin Project just the memory recording, or hold on. If the Ash Twin Project fails, it'll send the memories back. So. Is it possible the Ash Twin Project is is the thing that was trying to explode the universe? The Ash Twin... Uh, this is ruining my brain a little bit, but I think... Right, that does... That does make sense. Okay, the theory is whatever's on the Ash Twin Project, that's what's making the universe be destroyed. 
And that's why if the Astrin project succeeds, the the memories will send back. Does that No that No, the Astrin project must be the purpose of that must be to reset. And presumably if it doesn't reset Yeah, presumably it's not resetting properly. Because our memories are getting sent back, which must mean the project's failing. Or... It, oh, it's hard to tell. I feel like I don't have enough information on this yet. It's annoying. I... Uh, I, I, think, I think the next time... What we gotta do is... Can I, can I see my, uh, my world map? It's in here, isn't it? Yeah, we've, we've gotta... Got to figure out what's going on with Ash Twin. Yeah, and the stuff at the uh, the stuff at the Ember Twin is stuff about how to avoid the Anglerfish. Maybe they have a quantum bit and that, but the Ash Twin's actually the important thing. The Interloper, we know nothing about that. That little symbol. I think, I think we're getting something. Yeah, the orbital probe destroys every time it, every time it dies. No discoveries on Hollow Lantern yet, so maybe, maybe shows that we, there should actually be more stuff to discover there. Quantum Moon, which we've seen and haven't found. Ah, there's still there's still a ton of stuff I'm not getting. I think I think I need to head to the Astrin project, see what's going on there. I think I think that's what's causing the universe to re to reset. There's there's got to be something, or maybe maybe there'll at least be some sort of indicator on who the who the third person who's linked to the statues must be, because I suspect it's a Nomai. I suspect it's a Nomai, and they've been like hidden deep underground to make sure that they... Well, I was going to say make sure they stay alive, but... If it's resetting every time... Every time the universe explodes, it doesn't really matter if they stay alive. But... No, they've got to be... They've got to be either in the orbital cannon, or they've got to be... Somewhere that has either a computer link or a warp drive to the orbital cannon. Because they need to have some sort of communication with that to, to tell it to send the probe in a different direction after every reset that it doesn't work. This doesn't help. This just makes me infinitely more confused. So, Orbital Probe Cannon. And also the Ash Chin we need to check out. I'm worried the Orbital Probe Cannon might be, like, completely destroyed, so I'm not sure how much information we get out of it, but... Ash Twin, definitely. There's gotta... there's gotta be... There's gotta be some stuff. We've gotta figure out the third person who's linked to that statue. I feel like that'll... that'll fill in a lot of the... a lot of the plot details for us. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm even more confused. Ah, uh, I... It's a it's a nice little mystery. I agree with it. Things are things are definitely definitely ramping up in confusion. It's nice. I really want to go to the quantum moon. That's so cool. A moon that just disappears whenever you're not looking at it. I mean, we could theoretically have one of those in the space in real life, and just who would know about it? Just scientists having hallucinations, you'd think. Very intriguing. Anyway, thank you for watching.